Welcome back to Sturgeon Bay. This is episode 11, and this episode is going to be um, kind of a longer one. It's going to be about half an hour long because um, what I have recorded here is actually the content for what would have been two episodes. Um, and, and it turns out, a complete, you know, there would have been three, but I forgot to record the um, what would have been the third. Um, but I figure I'm just going to kind of put them all in one here so we have a nice bit of a longer video and it catches up to like exactly currently where we are now in the city because uh, ever since kind of recording this and doing the part that I forgot to record I guess I have not loaded up the city and done anything in it. I was able to get it to load I believe um, once um, and that was actually just uh, the other day here but it didn't function and it ended up crashing um, so it's it's not quite it's not quite back to functionality yet but I do have this um, that has been sitting here literally since uh, about um, the uh, well the first part is from about the end of July um, and second bit of this is from uh, early mid August so it's, it's been a while because today is actually the first of March um, probably gonna be uploading this the same day because actually I do not have a whole lot of time left with this particular computer because it is um, not quite cutting it for uh, what I want to do um, so I have wanted to kind of upgrade to a desktop for a little while build one myself so I can actually kind of pick the parts that fit what I need and I'm finally gonna be doing that because um, I am owed a, a, a little bit of um, money from different things, and I am also going to be selling this um, this really nice gaming laptop, and I already did get an offer that I'm going to accept. I'm selling this for um, like ab about 1.1 grand, so that's that covers um, a, a, a good bit, not 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 all by a long shot, but a good bit of the cost that it'll uh, take to build that new desktop. And I'm not going to be without a computer um, from now until then, because I do now have like a, you know a little Chromebook um, that is kind of what I'll use for like schoolwork and stuff, um, and I can I can definitely make do with that for uh, for for a little while, um, and that's kind of that kind of opened up the possibility of me being able to do this now is because I have that. Um, that Chromebook because I didn't want to be without a computer and I never used this laptop like a laptop anyway so there's no reason to really have this as a laptop when I want a desktop a desktop would do me better and I have no need for this to be a laptop like you know like like I just said so I'm going to be building that and that um, probably be a little bit before I have all the parts and I got to figure out you know how to completely set that up but once I get that up it should not be too long because I'm going to be um, big thing is I'm going to be doubling my memory and also doing a, obviously, a um, better graphic card as well. Um, so, at, you know, the bare minimum is those two will be upgraded. There's a lot of other, uh, you know, upgrades that I'll be having as well, but it will go, uh, it'll, it'll go a long way. Uh, and what I'm doing here on screen, this episode, we're going to be mainly working, um, well, I mean, this is a bunch of stuff, but the first half of this episode, at least I should say, we're going to be working on the football stadium, which is kind of a big, um, big kind of centerpiece area for the city. And um, so what I'm doing here, there's a certain kind of junction that's kind of right by the football field area where there's sort of like an office building in the middle of it. Um, so I wanted to try to kind of recreate that and... I actually, for once, remembered that I can clip buildings together with Move It, which is something that I hardly ever do, and I wish I did more because it ends up looking really cool when people do that. And I think what I did, you know, it's obviously not the best because I only used a couple of assets, but I, I think it ended up um, working and it, it's simple enough. And I notice I say this a lot, but in the grand scheme of things, it just works. It, it, it really just works. And I think I had mentioned before that there's this, yeah, this one asset I'm trying to place now, this Paul Brown uh, Stadium asset, which is a kind of the only good um, NFL stadium on the workshop. But I discovered while trying to place this, it was not going to be, uh, it was not going to be anywhere near that simple because the elevations to get in are different and the field is different. So I tried terraforming it a bunch and I, 
I really just couldn't make it work, and I end up going back to the um, campus DLC football stadium because that works just honestly a lot, a lot better. Um, you, you can see me, you know, struggling to try to figure out what I'm going to do here, sinking it down, but then the field is just covered, and it, it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work nicely at all. Um, and, you know, and of course here now, uh, recently I did discover that there is a Hard Rock Stadium um, from Miami, an asset of that on the workshop, um, which could work for this purpose, except I really don't think it would fit, because if you know what like uh, Lambeau Field in um, Green Bay looks like um, and kind of the place that Green Bay is, you'll know why Hard Rock Stadium would not be an appropriate stadium for this area. Like, given the fact, like, I mean, sure, Lambeau Field is outside and it definitely gets cold here, which is like the point, but um, it just really feels like that's not the kind of outdoor stadium you would want to have. And um, like the one from the campus DLC, it... I mean, it looks more classic style anyway, which is kind of what I would I ideally want, because that's what Lambeau Field is, is it's a more classic style stadium. Um, but, you know, there is obviously the corners where there isn't anything, and that's not something I want to have, so well, what I do is, um, you'll see it as I try to figure it out here, I end up taking a few um, buildings, um, that are, I think, most of them are like office buildings, and I kind of stick them on the corner as if it were like an addition or whatever for like an, an atrium and a shop or whatever the hell. Um, so I, you know, I, I think it, uh, I think it made it work. Parking lots were definitely something that I had to figure out because th this would need um, a lot of parking, and <laughs> honestly, I don't like uh, placing all of the um, like actual parking space assets in parking lot roads um so it was gonna i knew it was gonna be a bit tedious and i'm like okay well how do i how do i want to lay this out and um okay my mind just kind of blanked there but yeah like how, how do i want to lay this out and how do i want to um kind of have this all connected like do I want all the parking lots to connect like to each other or do I just have some access roads um, going to each of the parking lots which is kind of what I did um and it's like you know is it, is it enough parking I don't know I feel like it honestly would have been better if I just um did like some really large like a couple little parking garages and just for example there oh you know there wasn't the space to make all these huge parking lots or whatever um but I don't know how well that would have gone over because it just seems that something like this should have this absolutely way, way larger parking lot um, than it really needs to have. And um, another part of it, I really did want to have a actual kind of parking lot like this. Another reason for that is um, tailgating. Tailgating, tailgating is a big part of, um, you know, American sports culture. It happens at NFL stadiums a, a lot. Um, like, like the one that I was just detailing there, um, kind of what I would say is, uh, when we think of directions, I think that's probably the east side or whatever. That is, like, the tailgate spot um, for parking at the stadium. There's just parties there. Um you know, on people's cars, and it feels more like a village than a parking lot. It's it's actually crazy. I've done that several times, and uh, I obviously didn't, I obviously didn't get to do that here in the past year because of um, COVID and all. But hopefully, you know, like once again in the future, it um, should work out. Now, another thing that I struggled with, uh, another thing that I kind of struggled with in the parking lots is. Um, how I wanted to kind of decorate in the middle. There's um, like where there's just that empty space or whatever. Because I I didn't really think that I wanted it to just be completely barren, but I didn't want to make it too cluttered with um, all sorts of trees and stuff like that. 
Um, so I, I, I think in the end, I, I think I probably reworked that a little bit off camera. I'm not entirely sure. This has been a long while at this point. I did end up um, just kind of doing a little bit less trees and more just like little bushes and stuff. I'm wondering here, I'm kind of putting a fence perimeter around because you obviously don't want people just walking into the stadium for, you know, whatever reason. Um, so, you know, kind of like that. And then there is that one little quarter where we have a little forest we can pretend that's like the gathering area or whatever. Um, maybe, maybe there's a statue there or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, you, you can see here I'm trying to go absolutely nuts with trees and, I mean, it looks like fine if I were to do it for like one or two rows but I try to do it for like all of them and then I can't decide which tree I want to use so like each like main kind of parking lot has a different sort of tree for it and the trees are too close together and it just didn't look very good so I kind of ended up scrapping that idea in at least in that um in that way of execution it just was not it was not great um but one thing I want to do going forward with parking lots is um, while I was watching, it might have been it might have been Prez the other day. Um, yeah, he was uh, he was in uh, his uh, Winter in the Midwest City, which I'll you know I'll talk about in a moment. He was um, using some sort of network that seemed to be like um, curbs that go in the middle of a parking lot, and it didn't seem quite like. A, like the actual curb network, it, it might have been. Um, but besides that, there was also the, um, like an actual different parking lot sort of network that seemed that he was using that looked honestly a lot easier to use than parking lot roads. So I'm gonna look into that and uh, I'm gonna see what that is because that, um, you know, if it, if, it uh, if I can get something easier to use, that'd be excellent. And what I'm doing here now is I'm kind of starting to create the, um, this yeah, stadium district because in real life um lambo field does have a stadium district it is called the title town district and so what i just built there was kind of the office that's attached to the um area for like tech companies or whatever that was actually funded by microsoft in real life and it does kind of have an angle like that so that's um one of the first things i wanted to make sure we create and there also is a hotel which is i believe um no what i'm looking for now is actually what would represent the hinterland um uh place which I, I believe that's some sort of brewery or whatever that's kind of on the corner of that development and then there's a a, a couple nice hotels like really right next into like kind of right next to the stadium there for um people who want to stay like right next to the stadium and have the money to do so um you know kind of the nicest thing i had was that that i'm um, marriott there so you know it's not like exquisite but you know it's kind of what i could do it's a nice looking hotel asset nice and modern and all that um and now what i've just put down is in kind of near the middle of the development there's sort of like a building that is at an angle like that that would i think it's got like a cafe on it and um it has actually like a, uh, a hill like at an incline from the top to the bottom that you can uh, tube down in the winter and in the summer i discovered through personal experience that it is fun to actually roll down like on your sides um i'm, I'm an adult i shouldn't be doing that <laughs> um but that that is a fun thing to do and then kind of ob like arguably what would be the centerpiece of hill tile town district is there is a football field um for public use with actual goalposts and stuff and it's just really cool. I like going there with uh, with my friend because we're big. Uh, we're actually big Green Bay Packers fans because you know I'm from Wisconsin and all that. Um, in real life, there's only there's only one, but I decided I put two just to fill the space and um, just because I, I I think that having one would be just just too small, just way too small. Um, and there I, I had put like a playground next to it there because in real life there is a playground like kind of connected to it on um, you know for smaller children and all that I'm trying to fill in concrete here so we have some space or whatever We've got a bit of a um, I forget the name of it but that kind of white road that we've got going on there like for, for pedestrians I forget the name of it but we have we have one uh, pr promenade I think that's what it is it's a, it's a promenade and um, yeah just filling it in with forest here and originally I thought that this was kind of going to be it for now but then i was like oh that's right there um when i was there at one point there was also like i could see that they were working on building apartments which is what i'm putting in now you know it's like some nice um high-end apartments for people who want to live 
really close to this historic um, NFL stadium. So that's what we that's what we do there, and I do end up putting some more farms kind of nearby because um, this place has been getting heavily redeveloped recently um, because the team has been having some absolutely major success. Um, so here we've got like this row on the side here, yeah. Um, and another thing is I also end up putting kind of like a I don't know if I did this yet already, but I kind of put a little bit of a band stage in um, the area. I think it's go yeah it goes next to that fountain that you could have just seen right there. Um, because when I was there, the this was at the same time that I discovered about rolling down the hill. It was kind of like their um, family night or whatever, and uh, my friend had you know they had extra tickets, so I went with them or whatever. And there was like a little concert going on at this little stage or whatever to provide entertainment. Um, so that's how I know that's a thing that goes on there. I was trying to figure out how to put it in this uh, whole um, parking garage here. It was definitely a struggle to figure out, but I, I think I managed it in the end. I honestly don't remember like recording this too much, but I, I, I think I got it. So, you know, uh, wait, wait, what do I do here? Yeah, okay, I just delete that. What do I do? What do I do? Do I just... Hang on, I'm gonna see what 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 did I do here? Oh, I built this first and then the uh, the road after. Okay, big brain me, big brain. And then I move it over. Yes, <laughs> that's okay. It's good that I'm remembering this stuff so I can do it for the future. Uh, getting that parking lot in there by the hotel, that was um, that was weird because it's it feels kind of long. Um, like in the wrong way like the, you'd be really far from the hotel if you park down at this end down here so I'm not sure you know how that is but then you know right here like I said I'm just adding more of those apartments and they're all kind of cookie cutter but that's kind of how it would be just mass lug you know quote air quote unquote uh, luxury condo developments um, and then I do remember I had this little module one that I, I think looks pretty nice and I want to use this probably um, at least one more time somewhere in the city. It look it looks uh, pretty nice and Yeah, yeah, here's I don't know if these ones really fit, but I like how they connect I've always liked those ones those typical kind of American suburban townhome apartment things like that. I, I really just I, I do um, so we're about I probably like halfway into the episode now here and we're um, getting towards I believe, Hang on. Is this the uh, no, there's a little bit more after this of the um, first um, part of the episode. I'm not sure what that is that I end up doing in that. And there's townhomes back there, those luxury ones that I ended up building. And I just kind of leave the back of that as forest because it's, it will separate. There will be like a future residential area there. Um, yep, there's parking lots on that side. That's another realistic detail. Um, and like building this district was a little definitely easier for me to do from memory because I have been here um, in person on several occasions. And then there is like a bank that they had to relocate over here um, from because originally it was on the space that they were developing. Um, so that's the thing. Thank you for giving me a notification phone. I appreciate it. Not. Um, but yeah. Anyways, as soon as I am done uploading this, I'm going to be um, putting all the files that I want to put onto my new PC. The um, that I like, I want to keep. So like, save files and stuff from cities. Obviously, I'm gonna be putting that onto an external um, hard drive. I have. Uh, I recently got a um, two terabyte hard drive for external storage, um, just because I needed it. And I wasn't even at that time thinking uh, remotely of getting a new um, computer. But I guess it uh, is coming in handy for me now here. Yeah, and it looks like what this clip is. Um, I was just kind of. Uh, looking at this how I wanted this to be it looks like I was doing some sort of tour so I'll, I'll do it I'll, I'll actually do the tour here that building that I'm going through right now the West uh, that asset is the West Virginia uh, Housing Development Fund well I'm zooming around this was I think meant to be live gameplay uh, oh well um, that would be kind of like a strength and conditioning center for the players in the corner there that office building like I said would be like an atrium and stuff this quick trip um, I had to combine it with some other gas station shops because the actual Quick Trip store asset is just ridiculously small because I can tell you, Quick Trips are not a small gas station store. No, 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 no. Those can get big. Um, and I love it. We have a cult of Quick Trip in Wisconsin and it's absolutely fantastic. Um, okay, how long does this live gameplay segment last? Because there's really so much I can explain in the tour here and I'm really just whizzing people around. Um... 
so I think, hang on, how much longer is left in this? Yeah, a while yet. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this um, audio here for a brief moment, and then I will also kind of, oh yeah, no, 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 here we go. Here now I'm putting down this little band bit. Um, and yeah, a road connection was an issue. If there's a way I can fix that, please let me know, because even though it doesn't really matter, since I'm not trying to make this all super functional, it did kind of upset me that they're like oh we need to be connected to a road uh, so if you have a like a little cheap bit of a cheat for that tell me because i am willing to hear it uh so I don't, know, I don't like how even when i have road anarchy on it destroys paths when i try to use like a road or anything like that it's like why i have anarchy on you're not anarchying a anarchy better um oh yeah these planters i put down here they look kind of weird um, because the shapes for these are always awkward when you're not doing it in, like, just one spot. Um, but it, it's, it's fine, I guess. And I, you know, God help me, I'm gonna say it again. When you do things in a larger scale, they, um, they work. It's, it's just kind of the philosophy that I've been going with for most of this series is think of the bigger picture. Um, rather than focus on every minute detail and that seems to I mean it makes me happy at least so I'm you know that's that's all I really need because as much as I do love creating this series for you guys ultimately this is about me wanting to create a project that I can um, feel happy with recreating a city that I am very intimately familiar with because I was born in downtown like green bay so this city is literally the place where i was born all right and anyways here we are now on to what would have been the second episode to so the second half of this episode we are just filling in this um neighborhood area just all willy-nilly because we need more neighborhood um yeah you know actually come to think of it did i end up saving af like after the part that I didn't end up capturing on video. I don't know. I'm, I guess when I uh, am able to load the save once I get the new computer, but I will, I will find out. Um, but I'll talk about what I, what I would have done once I get to that part. Um, but yeah, anyways, here. So the kind of way that I've been going about building these, um, you know, these neighborhoods is I just have the same kind of assets um, for houses that I've had since really the beginning of the series. Um, without really going back in and making too many new ones, though I have made a couple new ones since then. I made the um, houses that are labeled as SB for Surgeon Bay instead of GB for Green Bay. There's about six of those. Um, so there's a little more variety, but what I just do is I try to make sure that none of the houses um, that are the same are too close to each other, with like a couple of exceptions. And there's a specific house that I only really prefer to go on the corner. Um, so stuff like that. And, um, you know, it works fine for, like, completely square grid blocks, but when you get blocks that have, like, ankles, it can definitely get weird. And, um, that's kind of a gripe that I definitely have with City Skylines, is that we can't really do buildings at angles in grids and stuff, which, which I get it, because obviously the game wants to be grid-based, so it, you know, simplifies all these sorts of algorithms and models and stuff like that. And I, and I get it. But just because I understand something doesn't mean that I have to be a fan of it. But at the same time, it's not necessarily that I'm saying it's awful. Because it's certainly not. And really, like, the game, like, the core game by itself is, um, as of this month, is, like, six years old. So it's it's been a wild ride, and I'm just happy that this game is still going. I've played it for so long. I'm pretty sure I've played this more than, like, any other game in my entire life like even more than minecraft which is insane to think about because from 2012 until about like literally when this game came out minecraft dominated my life like absolutely to the point where even recently i've been considering like making up minecraft videos again because i used to be a minecraft youtuber um and even though that's not what this channel's for if you do want to see that um like maybe on another another channel i have because i do have a couple other channels um that i like never uploaded to you don't want to see that for any reason like um smp or anything or just fun building videos uh i mean you can definitely tell because if people want to see that i'd be more than happy to uh to do that 
Um, one little idea that I will plug for that is I had the idea to do a series for the entire goal is just get the um, Peg Step music disc as fast as I can. And that would be the series. So, like, we have an actual goal in mind for that. Um, and if that's something that I have to do without, you know, recording it, so it's more of a personal project, I can do that. But if people w would watch that, I mean, I I'd do that for sure. But, yeah, what I'm building now is we're starting to build a bit of a little commercial shopping center in this part of town or whatever. And I put down a Target. Now, at the time, I actually worked for Target. I worked for Target from late July until um like about christmas eve literally um so this is kind of weird because it's like wow i'm building the place where i work this is kind of bizarre or whatever um but at the same time i think it also did help out my knowledge of kind of how it would be laid out so instead of just like the actual um store and, the, and a big parking lot in front I know a couple things that I have to do, like how the loading bay would be, how the employee parking would be, because uh, at mine at least we have an actual side lot that is like pretty much specifically for that, um, and uh, stuff like that. But you know, the Target I worked at is actually a lot smaller than like 90% of Targets you'll find. We don't even have like a Starbucks or anything in ours. Um, so like looking at the Targets that I have available to me in this game, it's like, wow, I'm jealous. This is cool. Why did I have to work at the tiny one? Um, but yeah, anyway, I end up kind of decorating this with some actual, um, flowers and bushes and stuff and a nice Target sign, because this is supposed to be a very nice little, um, shopping center right here. Like, I end up putting, like, a McDonald's down nearby, I'm, uh, pretty sure. Um, and what I do after this episode, uh, like I said, I don't know if I did end up, um, saving that. I hope I did, because I really liked it. Um, kind of detract from that just a little bit because there is a um, like kind of a crummy little motel actually two of them that are that get put nearby here but at the same time there's also a nicer hotel that I put kind of um, nearby so it kind of balances out so this is kind of meant to be you know here's a little shopping center in the middle of um, you know the neighbor in the middle of a neighborhood of town right by the river here um, at the junction of two of the major town roads so you know i think it works and like like i said here this is me using my knowledge like okay how would the back of a target store be you know since i worked at it so we have obviously this uh, whole bunch of concrete or whatever so there's space for the trucks to get in and turn and do their loading so let's put a couple of them there because at any given time there's usually at least one um I like that there's multiple target uh, trailer assets. I really do like that. Um, and then I believe, where is it that I put the, um, where is it that I end up putting the uh, employee lot? Is it, is it in the back or is it on the side? Um, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so uh, one second, let me take it right here. Oh yeah, yeah, so right there, that's where I put it. And make sure that we have ample parking because um, I didn't realize it when I first started working there. But even my small target has like a lot of people working there at any given time. It's a lot more than I would think. I would think that you could run a target store with like, uh, I don't know, like 30 people. No, 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 no. There's a lot more people involved than that. It's, it's kind of weird. And certainly for a larger target like this, you're going you're gonna to need more people. Um... And I end up putting a fence here, obviously, so people don't just waltz right into the um, into the loading bay, because that's not a thing that y you probably don't want. That um, decorate the back with a bunch of trees and stuff, because uh, I like to pretend that this area was kind of literally just it wasn't even redeveloped from something, but it was it was just undeveloped before this, and this um, shopping area literally developed as the city was expanding this way, more or less. Um, so I'm pretty sure, yeah, here I end up putting, um, the, no, I don't put the McDonald's down yet. We put down a couple of other shopping places, like we put a Dick Sporting Goods there, and a, um, yeah, Best Buy, because those are two I like to put together, because they're both kind of small assets, and a Michael's, so we just have a little bit of shopping center there. Is there anything else I put down to the side of those, or not? Nah, is that it? Yeah, I think that's it, and then we try to make, like, a little loading area back there for them, too. 
um, but they don't have much space, you know, given the river. Um, so it's kind of awkward for them to get back there, but I, th I think it's fine. Uh, just, you know, just pretend. I'm going to say it again. Uh, you know what I'm going to say, so I'm actually not going to say it again. But you know what I'm going to say. Um, but with that said, we are coming to the end of the episode now. I've got about two minutes left. So I want to thank you for watching this series, watching these videos. I really do um, enjoy making them when I get a chance to it. I'm just not very on top of it when it comes to editing and uploading videos. I don't know if I just lose the motivation for it or what why it is that I don't necessarily always go and do those right away, um, but, uh, but yeah, I, um, do want to get back to doing this series, so hopefully once I have that, uh, excuse me there, hopefully when I, once I have that PC built, and the game will definitely, you know, run smoother, because right now I have 16 gigs of RAM, and that, uh, the new build is gonna have, is gonna have 32, and that's, that'll only take up two of the four slots, um, so there would, there would even be the room for more if I end up needing it or whatever. Um, so yeah, it'll definitely run smoother and I won't have to cut down on assets as much and we're going to be able to do things a lot, a lot better than, uh, than now. So, I mean, even just when I used to try to make videos, if any of you remember like Keanu's Mountains, it ran terribly because I was on a PC that was not meant for gaming and I only had literally four gigabytes of RAM and it was just terrible to try to play that with and um, you know then I finally got this and I'm working with 16 gigabytes of RAM and now I've pushed even that to its limits um, so I don't know if it's just the game bringing everything to its knees or if it's just me tr continually trying to push the boundaries of what my device can do but yeah there's that McDonald's it's kind of a neat look with the green roof and all that um, oh. It looks like the actual video has ended here, so uh, cinematic should be going on right now. I'm just going to say goodbye. Thank you. Uh, leave a comment, leave a like, and maybe subscribe. Enjoy the rest of these cinematics. Thank you.